hey y'all i never know what i'm gonna say until i sit down to actually do these and so like before the camera turns on i i sit here for like 20 minutes or maybe like 15 20 minutes and just think about like kind of what i want to say because throughout the <clears throat> I had some really spicy ramen earlier and I'm still like reeling from it. I'm also drinking this water um, off of this sweet table I made at college. Anyway, uh, I failed the class this was for. I didn't follow the instructions. They wanted a four post, like a four leg table. <clears throat> oh my God. I didn't want to do that. So I also apparently didn't want to pass the class. <laughs> But it's okay, it was a furniture design course anyway, so whatever. I was studying industrial design, so it was more like homewares, digital touch interfaces, that kind of stuff, instead of furniture made of wood. Did I mention that I have a bad memory and completely forgot if I mentioned why I have like stuff in my throat? <laughs> I had, <clears throat> oh my, what is going on with me? I had really spicy ramen earlier. Like, I didn't go anywhere. I'm not going to get ramen anywhere. I have, like, packs of ramen and hot sauce. I made it myself. They're 25 cent packs of ramen. <laughs> um, but yeah, that really, like, oh, there it is. Uh, there's my voice, yay. That, um... That really gets like my sinuses clogged up and stuff because it's all hot. But, um, okay, now that I've gotten through all that and not discussed the first thing I actually wanted to talk about, the first thing I want to talk about is, I'm never gonna get to this. <laughs> the first thing I want to talk about is the fundraiser, the You Caring fundraiser. Thank you to all of you who donated. I am so appreciative. Like seeing those come in and just knowing that like there's righteous support there um it just it kind of blew my mind a little bit um and i'm just like so i can't even put it i, I clearly i cannot put this into cohesive words but i am ridiculously thankful for the donations and um they will definitely be put to good use <laughs> Um, I already know where where it's going and also in relation to that I got a notice from my landlord today that the rent's going up in May it this is this is the month where it's renewed so good timing <laughs> oh oh yeah yeah that thing yesterday when I said that the album wasn't out on iTunes the album is out on iTunes today <laughs> So you can go get it on iTunes, iTunes, iTunes. Um, and you can go, yeah, d buy it today. But, but, but I want to say it's probably like, I haven't, I don't remember what the price is. It's probably like $8.99 or $9.99 on iTunes. It's $4 on Bandcamp. So if you go to Bandcamp, links in the description. Let's see what else from the great phone of knowledge. Oh, okay. So I reached out to an old work colleague today that I'd previously broken ties with um, to see if there wasn't uh, any more opportunity there. If you need any work done, I'm available. So, and like, I hate cutting ties and burning bridges like that, but I had my reasons. I will probably rediscover that I still have my reasons, but I really don't like doing that because overall, if there's any kind of like work misunderstanding or life misunderstanding, like think about it this way, like people are the way they are because they've gotten to that point in life because life has supported them being that way pretty much for their entire lives. Like they probably would have run into some kind of um, hardship in their life. Like everyone's had some kind of hard thing to deal with in their lives but overall people are the way they are because nothing in their life has pushed them to not be that way and so when I think about having to uh, 
break ties or burn bridges with people that really weighs on me because I know that those people are just being the people they're always going to be and always have been um, trying to get people to change or to understand really truly deeply why you feel the way you do about certain things is really difficult um, and so I just kind of like in addition with that person contacting me today just kind of realized like I should probably apologize and ask to see if they need work done animation and like because I did mostly motion graphics for this company oh oh I was gonna look this up and do all this stuff before I started recording so I need to do some stuff real quick on my phone I have to go up to the LGBT Center later this week and I've been looking well actually it's Friday no it right now when I'm filming this is Friday I had to go to um, the LGBT Center sometime soon I can't remember exactly when but since my license is expired I can't drive my car and I have my bike it's a Cannondale from 1996 old bike still just still getting along that's the that's the bike I've had literally since 1996 and I've been riding it since 1996 you want to you want to tell me a company that makes solid bikes Cannondale makes solid bikes or at least they did back in 96 I don't know about now but I'm I'm so happy to have that thing because <laughs> it has saved me so many times but anyway so I have to go up to the LGBT Center later this week and I have to ride about three miles away from here so that I can get on the train and then ride the train up to Hollywood and then ride my bike to the center and come back. The thing about that is that I needed to know whether I was going to be able to, oh, well it's tomorrow, the brewery art walk. I want to go to that. It's a 21 minute bike ride. Oh, good lord. No. I might be able to do it, but it's tomorrow. I have to go with all my camera gear. Like, all of this stuff. Well, not like you know what it looks like, but it's a tripod and a camera and a microphone. But yeah, tomorrow, which is the day you're watching this, the 7th, because right now it's the 6th. The day you're watching this, um, I could very well be filming another episode of A New Angle. A special episode. I don't know what the temperature is going to be tomorrow. I don't know what the weather's going to be tomorrow. I think it's going to be sunny and hot and crappy. It should probably be a pretty okay day to ride a bike. Um, but like I haven't ridden my bike anywhere. I'm honestly afraid to go ride my bike in the city because I just like I really don't want... I would absolutely hate for this thing to get stolen um, or any aspect of it to get stolen because again it's from 96. My dad bought it for me for like Christmas one year um, and it's like there's a lot attached to it it was my survival bike when I lived in Savannah um, it was my exercise bike when I moved out to Los Angeles and it's just been kind of hanging around um, I've used it a few times since I moved into Murder Loft um, and it's just been like my it is so much my bike now that I honestly kind of can't imagine having another bike. It's that kind of thing. Like, it's a big, thick, downhill mountain bike. It's not meant for the city. Although it is very, like, it's not, like, it's not fixed gear. Like, it's seriously, it's, like, it's huge. I, I would show it to you, but I don't want to move the camera. Well, I don't have to move the camera. I can move the bike. And out the text goes. So, now let me show you this thing. Ugh. This giant thing, you can't, I can't even show it the whole thing on, it's huge. It's just a stupid, it's stupid. It's doesn't, it doesn't even have a kickstand. Here, is that a better shot of it? Yeah, this thing. And overall, it's just a really good bike for like bombing around cities and things like that. And, um... Just like it's, it's toughness and durability um, really gives me confidence when I'm biking around. I really, really just love that bike. 
Um, anyway, I just texted Dan. I'll probably be going to the art walk tomorrow, and there might be a little interview. I don't know. Who knows? Um, because Dan, if you don't know him, Dan Dowding is one of my friends from college. Um, we both went to SCAD together, and I've just been like a big supporter of his work ever since I met him. Um, I did location sound on a few of his films. He studied um, in the film and television department, mainly on the film side of things, directing. Uh, he's done a lot of editing, last I heard. Uh, the last big thing I heard was he was doing some stuff for Al Jazeera America. Um, so that was cool. Yeah, so you'll probably hear from me about that on Sunday. So make sure you tune in on Sunday to see that sweet episode. Let me drink some more of this water. Set it down on this failure of a table. <laughs> it's not a failure. It's a sweet table. It's two pieces. It's made for college kids that need to move around and stuff but still want fancy looking stuff. It's a big cantilevered um, angled piece of wood and then like a flat panel that kind of sticks into it. The angled piece of wood has its foot that sits directly under the, the panel of the table itself and so it holds itself up. It's very architectural. Um, definitely not your standard Martha Stewart type of table, for sure. So, uh, yeah, that's everything. That's the vlog today. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Again, thank you all for the donations on the fundraiser. It's been incredibly helpful and incredibly enheartening seeing all of the um all of all of the people supporting me um and please please uh, if if you have in mind to donate please please do so um again the link is in the description and also thank you to all of you who bought the album recently that's been awesome like really really thankful for that it's been really it, that was a little bit less expected to be honest um and like since it's four bucks and then they're paying kind of what they want but like paying more than four bucks like that's just thank you for being awesome people like i really appreciate it thanks for watching bye